stick with us. Today we install and review the Moride Storage Box, starting right now. It just has a nut on the outside. The installation portion of the Moride box is pretty simple. It is literally just unbolt the old stubs and bolt the brackets for the box into place. So stick with us as we get these bolted up and then we'll review the storage solution. All the hardware to install the box is included with the storage box. So it's been a couple weeks since we installed our Moride box, so I wanted to go ahead and do the review portion of this video and uh, show you how it looks and how it's working for us and what we're using the fit for. So I wanted to get back to finish up this video and get it out to you guys so you can see what it looks like installed, see what we're planning on storing in it, and see if this is right for you. So let's take a look at what we got going on here. These Moride boxes, uh, I'm not sure that they all come keyed the same, but I would assume they do. Um, it is a CH751 key. I'll unlock this and drop this down. Now this might seem like an expensive box to hold plastic uh, leveling blocks in here, um, 
But at the same point in time, this was wasted space where our old steps were after we put our Moride steps on. And the space that are in our storage compartments, this camper doesn't have a lot for outside storage. I have one pass through and I have one that's underneath the couch in the, the super slide. Other than that, I don't have any other outside storage on this camper. I added a toolbox on the front tongue and moved the battery into it. That gives me a little bit of more storage up there for certain items for hooking up to the camper. And when we're camping, I store my weight distribution bars and things like that in that toolbox. But I wanted to, one, use up the space, and two, any amount of space I can clean out of my storage compartments and put somewhere else is invaluable. When you're looking for space in a camper, sometimes price doesn't matter. The box is built very well for the price. I cannot complain about that one bit. Just like anything that Moride makes, it is quality built. But as you can see, your standard plastic leveling blocks um, fit in there perfectly. I was thinking... Uh, when I first bought this, I thought, well, maybe I could put a handful of these in there. Maybe the wheel chocks. Uh, it's not a compartment that you want to access all the time. Obviously, because it's under the stairs. You're going to want to get to it when the stairs are up. And that's usually when you're setting up or tearing down. And the last, the first things to go out and the last things to come back are your blocks and your wheel chocks. So that's kind of what I figured that the use for this box was. And... I think it actually has freed up quite a bit of space in our storage compartments. Um, so all in all, I'm happy with it. And I think that it will you know, come in handy to have these items here out of the way. And it's a fantastic box. So if this is something that you thought you, know, you might be able to use for yours, you know, like I said, it's not a compartment you want to go to every day because of where it's located. So it's items you want when you're setting up or tearing down. So. I think the box overall is made very sturdy. It's made of steel, um, it's good quality, good quality finish on it. Um, about the only thing that I see with the box is that lock, being the fact that it's keyed is the same as other locks. So you might wanna change that lock. Other than that, this box is saving us a ton of space in our normal storage compartments, and I'm happy with it, so. That being said, we'll go ahead and we'll get this locked up. Okay, so if you have any comments or questions, leave them below and we'll go ahead and we'll answer those for you. And I hope you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe. See you out there.